Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here, and today I'm going to be starting um, something that I probably uh, could have done a long time ago, I just kind of forgot about it until just now. But basically, I'm going to go after ho -Oh, and to do that I need the Rainbow Wing, I think. And I think I can get it from this guy. I like snoozing with the radio on. No, I can't get it from this guy. Okay, well there is a guy in Pewter City. I thought that was him. Evidently it's not. So the question is... Where is the Pewter City guy? Pretty sure it is in Pewter City, I'm not just making that up. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he's also in a house. I'm pretty sure... I already have the Boulder Badge, right? Why is that guy standing out in front of the... That's kind of weird. But, um... I'm pretty sure it's not this house up here. I'm pretty sure it's not this guy. I remember my old days when I used to... Maybe it is this guy. Oh yeah, I guess it is. Well, okay. That was easy. I knew it was an old guy. Um, I just evidently thought he was in a house, but he's not. Going to new, unknown places and seeing new people. These are the joys of travel. Well, that being said, I get to <laughs> now go all the way back to uh, to Johto. I think in order to actually get there, right? Yes, Johto. I have to fly. I, I guess I can fly to Blackthorn for some reason. But I can't fly anywhere else in Johto until I actually am in Johto. Uh... Which it always annoyed me about the uh, these games is that you have to basically fly somewhere in the, that area of the map, the right area of the map, before you can switch over. But uh, where am I going? I think Ecritique City. Yes. So, also, I don't think I've gone back and done anything with Suicune yet either. And he's also in the Tin Tower, maybe? Also, I went the wrong way. There we go. Because um, I'm going to want to go up this way, and incidentally, actually I don't think there's anything over there, is there? Nope, just a random pool of water, I guess if you want to go, oh it's raining by the way, that was kind of irrelevant, but <laughs> I guess I didn't realize that at first, oh it's up here, I was like, I, I'm pretty sure it's something, uh, up this way, so, that's what we got, and I don't know if this guy really says anything, two towers, two Pokemon. The only one burned down, both Pokemon flew away, never to return. Um, except one did return, obviously, as I'm about to prove. And a tin tower head was built as a roost for flying Pokemon. I should just be able to talk to these guys, and they should let me in now. Tin tower is off limits to anyone without Ecrotique's gym badge. I have that. Ecrotique's gym badge, please go right through. Thank you. I thought they fought me, but I guess not. Maybe, well, what are they doing? <laughs> they were just like, I don't even know. Um, but, essentially, uh, I don't remember, I don't think the Tin Tower is all that confusing. But it is a little lengthy. Um, compared to, like, the Sprout Tower, anyway. Uh, yeah, there's nothing over there. I was looking to make sure there weren't any items or anything that I was missing out on. Um, speaking of items, though... Okay, I thought maybe those were spots for items on the ground, but I guess it's just patches of uh, dirt. But nonetheless, this is the Tin Tower. So obviously the Burn Tower is the one that burned down, as that guy was talking about. The Tin Tower is the one that didn't burn down, conveniently enough. I don't even actually remember if there are any uh, wild Pokemon in here or not. Um, but I guess we'll find out. Well, maybe not on this level, because this is... Uh, I guess just the lobby area, does this guy have to say. I'm sorry, but only a certain few may pass here. I must ask you to turn back. Oh, the Rainbow Wing. You may pass. I like think I said a certain few, but I'm pretty sure there's only... Well, maybe not. Because, like, the Rainbow Wing is basically like a feather. So maybe it's just, like, anyone who has a feather from Ho-Oh can pass on through. Yeah, so these are basically, like, yeah, a feather. I'm just overthinking things. Regardless, though... Um... Oh, wow. Oh, that's, I thought that was, like, dropping all the way down to the first floor. But it just goes down like a little pit. Anyways, though. This is, yeah. This is the room that I was pretty much talking about. Where it can get confusing. Um. Okay, so you can I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you can, I think, about Because it can get really annoying. Yeah, with these stupid ratatas and stuff. Um. If you're not prepared for all that. So, I better... Uh, use some repels. There we are. Super repel. And... 
Now I can pretty much move around freely, or more or less freely. Pick up that full heal. And that really didn't really didn't do much for me, because um, I guess I have to start over on this side to try to get anywhere. Um, I think there's only one room that <clears throat> one room that's like that, or like this too before. Well, maybe there's two. I can't quite remember. But I have plenty of time to think it over, so I think looks like I'm gonna want to go this way. And then this way, I guess. Yeah, because... Oh, no, there's definitely more one room. There has to be. Because, first of all, I'm pretty sure there's more items than what I've picked up so far. Yeah. And secondly, that was just way too easy. So now, this is where I have to kind of look everything over. Um, Like, I'm going to say... Up there. And over. If nothing else, because I want that Ultra Ball. Um, I probably won't really need it. I think I have plenty still, but I'm also going to go pick up this... I thought it was a hyper potion. It looks like a super potion. <laughs> okay. Um, what's that way over there? Oh, I think it's an escape rope. I don't know which uh, ladder we need to go up. But I'm going to go up this one first. Uh, no, I'm not, because I can't move. So I'm going to have to go to the other one first, actually. I guess that's where uh, you get dropped off if you pick the wrong path in the next floor up. But, in the meantime, I'm going to get this escape rope here. And then I will... Well, maybe... What? Okay, I guess I can't go that one either. So, there's got to be another ladder right there. Aha. So, that's where we're going now. I guess there aren't any other items over here. So let's see. I guess I have to go here. Okay, I want that. There's a rare candy somewhere too. It's so hard doing. I mean, I remember in the rocket hideout with those arrow panels. It's so much. I mean, it's kind of cool. I don't mind. But, you know, doing in first person perspective instead of the top down perspective just makes things like a lot more challenging to say the least. Um, I think that's it over there. So let's pick that up first. Yep. Nice little rare candy. And then... I think we're going to... Because we want to go up, I think. But these are all going... Oh, there it is. Oh, don't tell me I screwed that up. Maybe I did. I probably did. Um, yeah, because I'm definitely supposed to... I was not supposed to go over here and get that rare candy. The rare candy was a trap. So that's something to keep in mind, but I guess, uh, you know, it doesn't matter all that much in the grand scheme of things. Especially, oh, since I can just pop back on over here easily enough. And then... Oh. No, that's not the right one. Duh. I already did that whole one, so you'd think I would have learned, but regardless, I can just go over here. And then, there we go. My repel wore off, but I'll use another one. And then, I think I'm doing the right thing, right? Maybe. I don't want to go to the middle this time, I do know that. Yeah, and then up, up, and that way. There we go. I don't think there's any more items to pick up that I'm aware of. I was thinking there's a T. Oh, because there's still more to go. I was gonna say I was like I thought there was a TM or something in here. Maybe it's up, up in here. Because obviously I haven't seen anything so far. Oh, this is an interesting little passage. I don't remember this. But uh, yeah. Okay. Well, maybe not. I don't know, unless there's another... Well, there is another floor. Okay. Maybe. Oh, that's right. Oh. I forgot about this uh, This room. Um, these, like, tiles, I'm pretty sure they warp you... Uh, some Or something like that. Oh, yeah. No, I was going to say, at first I thought, like, some of them warp you back to the entrance. They just, like, warp you back and forth, if I'm not mistaken. But first, I'm going to pick up this Max Revive, because I just saw that, and I'm like, yes, I should 
well, I haven't, I might not need it, I mean, in this particular fight. This is, Ho will probably be, I think he should be at level 70, actually, if I remember correctly. Um, the, the bird whose wing you get first is usually level 40, I think. And then the other one is like level 70. I think that's right. Um, oh yeah, it like teleports you between two different floors. That's what it is. So we got a full restore. We got a something, max ether or something or another over there. Um, we also got ourselves in our teleporter. And... I guess I have to take this one. Yeah. Let's see where that takes us. I feel like I maybe chose the right one since it's kind of linear right now. But I could be wrong. Let's grab this full restore first. And then take the teleporter. And now where are we? Oh, yeah, I guess I must have chosen the right path somehow. This is, yep. That's pretty cool. So there's ho -Oh flying down to meet me. And... And... Yep. There we go. So now, if I'm not mistaken, then don't quote me on this, but I think if you beat ho -Oh, or Lugia for that matter, maybe even, I think if you beat the if if you beat them instead of catching them, um, on accident or something, uh, I think you can fight the elite four, and then they'll like respawn basically until you catch them. Uh, then they're gone for good, obviously. But, um, yeah, because I'm considering I'm like, how am I going to? Because uh, obviously, poor Weeping Bell won't won't really do too well against him. Uh, I'm thinking so this might be the first first legendary that I might not catch because I've got Jirachi I've got oh no I didn't catch Mewtwo because he ran away um, I got Lugia are those the only two I've fought so far maybe um, so a surf shouldn't kill him let's see how much of that does it should do a lot of damage though and you know quickly take his health down it's oh okay I was like I got a little worried for a second but we're good. Also, Sacred Fire. He only has five of those. That's another thing you have to watch out for. Well, when fighting ho -Oh or Lugia, really. Because they have they don't have moves with a whole lot of PP, I don't think. Um, so that can be an issue. Um, I'm like, uh He should be able to survive one Ice Fang, I think. Probably just one, and just barely. Oh, yes. Oh, that was a close call. I called that pretty good, though, you know? <laughs> but, um... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out someone as fodder. I guess... Pidgeot. Sorry, Pidgeot. I just don't want to switch in Weaving Bell and let him die immediately upon getting switched in on. The punishment won't do that much. Um, I do have, oh, I was about to say, I do have Roost. I don't know why I would use that when I'm trying to die. That sounds awful. And I feel really bad for poor Pidgeot, but it'll at least also buy me some time uh, to just start chucking some, uh, some Ultra Balls at it. So I may also, I think I've mentioned this in some of the other Legendary Battles, but I haven't had a huge amount of issue catching some of the previous Legendaries. But I might skip through a lot of this, uh, depending on how long it takes, because, you know, I don't think people want to see me just chucking... 51 Ultra Balls at this, uh, at, especially when he's breaking free on the first turn of every single move. Oh, crud. Okay, well, um, I forgot it did that. Well, that wasn't helpful. That means Frelligator would have to die. So instead, let's just see. Okay, good. He just used Punishment anyway. Um, I guess I could have waited until I stalled him out of Sacred Fire and tried. Oh, wait, no. I want to use, uh, uh, where is it? Sleep Powder? Of course, it, knowing me, it's going to miss. Or you're going to kill me with it. Yep. I should have... Oh! Oh, what? <laughs> you... Oh, okay, I swear, it looked like he had no health left. Oh, that is great. That's beautiful. Um, 
I I was like, should I use like a uh, some kind of a like a max potion or something? Yeah, cause see, whatever. But you know that way, if he wakes up, then I'll be able to survive another hit probably. I I should uh I should have done that. I'm just worried that he's gonna wake up and use sacred fire, and it wouldn't matter whether I heal or not anyway. So let's go ahead and do that though, cause I'm it, you know. I might as well. Well, he obviously didn't wake up there. At least he didn't use anything that would hurt me. And then... Gonna go for some more Ultra Balls. I really wish I had quick access to Quick Balls. I don't even remember if they were in this game or not. But I've caught so many Legendaries with Quick Balls since they were introduced. See what I mean? That was just a wasted turn I could have thrown a Ultra Ball on, but nope. Oh well. Let's, uh, let's just keep throwing Ultra Balls for a while. And see what comes of it. Of course. Here I am, just, you know, minding my business, and I get... Nothing's going my way in this fight, it seems. Well, I did get sleep powder off, so I can't complain. But, like, well, there we go. It's shaking twice. Three times. Four times! <gasps> no way! <laughs> I guess... Okay. You know, here whenever I'm talking about good things, like how many times Ice Fang has hit in a row, or whatever, you know, something horrible happens, then the one time when I'm talking about how all the bad things are happening to me, something good actually happens. That's pretty... I can't complain. Um, so that is, I'm now, I've got all the legendaries I've got, been able to get so far. Uh, we've got the Rainbow Pokemon, uh, who doesn't evolve, in case anyone didn't know that. Um... And, yeah, that's pretty standard uh, stuff, I guess, there. He, um... Should have Sacred Fire... Uh... Extra Sensory, I think? Um... And I forget what... What was his R2? Ancient Power. And... What was the other one? Punishment, I guess. Is that right? Seems like it. Um, I'll just go ahead and use an escape rope. I don't think there's anything else to do in here, really. Well, of course, I knew that I was going to say that. I was like, I don't think I can use it from the top floor, but whatever. Um, but now I can use it. And I'm back in the Pokemon Center. Perfect, I can heal my Pokemon and stuff, but I won't bore you guys with that. I'll just do it off camera. So in the meantime, if you guys like this video, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button and potentially subscribe to my channel and stuff. If you haven't done so, and you get notified of future content. And as always, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks again for watching. Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here again, and I have just one more thing I completely forgot to do before I finish this video. So, um, oh, as you can see, um, actually I forgot to use Repel, but that doesn't uh, isn't necessarily a bad thing, because you can see, um, obviously, well, you can see at least one unknown here. I think that's the question mark one. Um, but basically. Um, I've gotten through all four, uh, puzzle rooms, or whatever you want to call them, I guess, and, um, which I did in the last video, and I missed one thing, oh, I'm looking at the wrong, there we go, super repel, and I'm in the, <clears throat> I should probably mention, I'm in the main cave again, and I think I should have to go this way. Past the guy, that hiker says something about uh, uh, there being like an old man, and I'm pretty sure it's somewhere around here. Uh, the only problem is I'm not sure. I think I have to go through like go like that, and then back out the other way or something, maybe. Unless maybe I did it wrong, and then talk to a statue or something. Replica of an ancient Pokemon. No, I obviously didn't do that quite right. So maybe it's the other way. And then... Over here. Oh! Okay, this must be it. Yeah, because there's only... Okay. Alright. And then talk to one of these statues, I guess. Or maybe not that one. Maybe this one. Or maybe neither. Um... Maybe it's in here. Or maybe it's one of these stat well, I don't know. Where am I? <laughs> I got a little turned around, I think. I think this is the uh I think I just 
Went back to, yeah, this is where, okay. Huh. Maybe I need to go through here or something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know where I am. That is... I get really lost in this place. Oh! Oh, this is different. Okay. Um... Do I need to talk to one of these things? No. Okay. Um... So this is the old man, presumably. I don't know... <laughs> I just kind of... I guess I admit... I should have kept going forward. I don't know why I didn't think that that would be a... Okay. Anyways. Help. Help me. Help. Oh, he's saying it in the unknown language now. That's cool. Whole bunch of A's. And I'm... Oh, they're all A's. Alright. Well, this should be a piece of cake with... I was just like, I think I have Fraugary out first. I don't remember exactly if I do or not. I don't know if these... Uh, surely these, these might spell out a message or something. So that's a C. Er... Yeah, that's a C. I think. I always get kind of confused, which... Is embarrassing because for the most part with the exception of like B I think like B and G I kind of get mixed well not necessarily G but B I kind of get mixed up or something I don't remember that's an I so I and C is that right I think and then let's see T. I see T. Tick. Um, I don't really know if these are going to spell anything or not, but I'm just operating on the assumption that they very well might. I'm trying to think what an eight-letter word would be that might relate to this. Um, a W, I think. So, I-T-C-W. I'm pretty sure if these are spelling something that I'm not going in the right, in the the phonetic order because obviously I T C W doesn't really spell anything. Uh, there's an A. I'm gonna take him down, and then the last one, or last one. I got two more after that. See, this is the one that always throws me off. I think it's a V or a U or something. Um, I don't think... I think the B is the one that has the I in the top part or something. So I think that might be a V or something like that. It's one of those letters. I always get confused for whatever reason. But um, and now I've completely lost... I haven't entirely lost track. I, T, C, W, A, and whatever that last one was, and a D. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to rearrange those in my head. I'd probably have to write that down somewhere um, in order to try to figure that out, if that is a real word. But that being said, this last one is another A. So it definitely probably spells something out, since in fact there's two A's, unless they're just like randomly generated. But um, that was pretty easy. What does the old man have to say now? You saved me. Thank you very much. Take this. I don't need it anymore. Receive the Everstone. <laughs> Wait, was he an unknown too? Thank you. I guess so. Well, that's kind of weird. But uh, that was cool, I guess. I'll try to if I'll figure. I'll have to remember. Try to remember when I'm. Wait, is there even a way out of here? <laughs> um, but I'll try to remember when I'm editing to try to figure out if they're actually that did spell something or not. But, uh, oh, there's a way out. Okay. But I, I, there's no way I'm going to try. Um, unfortunately, I also don't think I can use an escape rope. But that's not a problem, really, because I'll probably just, uh, it won't take that long. But in the meantime, though, I already did my little outro before, so I guess I won't bother you guys with that again. But, yep, uh, so that is going to be it for this video, for real this time. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks again for watching.